The shocking video of Ray Rice punching his future wife is fueling a loud debate about domestic violence. Actress Robin Givens wrote about her own experience with abuse in Time magazine this week. Entertainment Tonight co-host Kevin Frazier sat down with Robin Givens and joins us now from Los Angeles. Kevin, good morning. Good morning. You know, Robin Givens has dedicated a large part of her life to working with women and families who have suffered from domestic violence. And she says the Ray Rice controversy has elevated the conversation to another level. You wrote about some very harrowing experiences. Mm -hmm. How bad did it get for you? Well, it, it got to the point where I really believed I was going to die. Givens alleges she suffered abuse during her brief marriage to boxing champion Mike Tyson in 1988. That year, they opened up about their relationship in an interview with ABC News's Barbara Walters. Does he hit you? He shakes, he pushes, he, um, he swings. The couple divorced the next year. Three years later, the heavyweight was convicted of raping then 18-year-old beauty queen Desiree Washington. There has been really a second coming for Mike. Mm -hmm. and when you see that, what do you, what do you think of the, how he has resurrected his life and mm -hmm. his career now? Right. I think that everyone has a right to make a living and I, people can change. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I don't... I don't think saying things that aren't true about people is, is good. In an op-ed to Time magazine published Wednesday, Given says the Ray Rice video now shifts the conversation about domestic violence and, quote, forces you to take it in. There's no escaping. You can't dance around it. You have to deal with it. That's why video really becomes crucial for this cause. This is not, it's not a black issue. It's not a white issue. It's not a socioeconomic issue. It really, really... Uh, touches women on a very large scale. On Wednesday, Tyson appeared on a Canadian cable news channel promoting his new one-man show. When asked about his rape conviction, he bristled. I don't have no comment to that, you know, because it's negative and you're being negative. It's so interesting because you come across like a nice guy, but you're really a piece of mm -hmm. When you see that, what do you think? It makes my heart beat fast. <laughs> Does it really? Yeah, yeah. Now, Givens credits her 21-year-old son for pushing her to write the op-ed for Time magazine. She's just a mom now. She writes a little bit. She does a little acting, but really has devoted her life to abused women. Gail? Kevin, do you happen to know if she and Mike Tyson are still in contact with each other? She has no contact with Mike, but I think the interesting thing here is that Mike has really made kind of a comeback. He was in The Hangover. Yeah. He has been, uh, he's written books. He's been on television shows. He's been in other movies. And I was on a music video set with him not that long ago. Um, you want to forgive Mike, but then you sit down with Robin and you understand how deep and long lasting the effects of domestic abuse are. And one other point I want to make, Robin said to me that this is a conversation that men <clears throat> must have. That's it's right. about men addressing this issue. That's More. right. James Brown made that point, that exact point last night. And at the time, that Mike Tyson, Robin Given story was huge. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you.